Phoenix? Yeah? Come in. Bruce, wait till you hear. I was just talking to the hobos down by the river, and one of them told me the best story ever. I just had to run back here and tell you. What was it? He said it was called The Legend of the Mysterious Shiny Object. Mysterious Shiny Object? I love shiny objects. Yes, I know. They're your passion, your one true desire. But seriously, listen to this. Can I sit down? Sure. This is how it happened. Once upon a, um, uh, let's see here. Well, once upon a, well, golly gee, I haven't told this story in a really long time. Once upon a time? Yeah, that's it. Once upon a time, in a land across the sea, there lived a king. That king really liked to look at shiny objects. One day, he was growing bored with the shiny objects he had in his palace, so he commissioned his royal blacksmiths to make him a new shiny object, one that would blow away all the others. And then, uh, and then... Are you going anywhere with this? Hold on, just thinking, yeah. And then the blacksmith made it for him, and he loved it. He looked at it every day, but the king looked at it too much, and it captured him. Apparently, the shiny object had mysterious and magical powers. The end. That's it? That's it? That's it? Whoa, wait, I just remembered a little more. Okay, but make it quick. Okay, well, they say the shiny object got passed down through the generations of the king's family. They say it still exists today. Where is it? It must be valuable! Well, the story I heard said that the last descendant of the king lives in Hoboken, in an abandoned brick school building. As for value, anything can be valuable. It all depends on how you look at it. But it must be made out of gold or something. No, wait, pretty girl, come back. So that's the story. Wow. Thought you might like it. I love it. I have to go look for it. I guess it's not abandoned anymore. Hey guys. Okay, um, I'm going to just get right to the point. Does anyone know of an old man who lives by this school? To the right, downstairs. Thanks. and I can't even find the right guy. This whole thing is so stupid. I'll just walk home and punch Phoenix right in the nose. That's what I'll do. I'll... You called? Who are you? I could ask the same of you. My name is Bruce, and I came here in search of a mysterious shiny object. I go by many names, but you can call me Augustus Heathcliff IV, great-great-great-grandson to Eduardo Bolioni of Adon. Well, that's quite a mouthful. Huh. You may just call me Cliff, if you wish. Do you have the mysterious shiny object, Cliff? You mean the one commissioned by my great-great-great-great-grandfather? Yes, that's the one! I have the shiny object right here. 
but you must be careful because it holds very dangerous power. I want it. All right, if you care nothing for your life, I will not read the list of side effects and the potential dangers that have been passed down to generations of my family. I just want the object. Okay. Here it is. A spoon? I came all this way just for a spoon? Whatever. Give me that. Kids these days. Hit someone or or wait. I know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> 